Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. 1185 here doing a quick ROM review. I'm going to be doing a review on the Clean ROM. This is version 3.1. It is a Jelly Bean ROM that is running pretty much a stock TouchWiz launcher. As you can see, it's Android 4.1.1. Get your little Easter egg there. But as you can see, uh, the kernel version is 3.0.31. Um, the build is October 8th. And the Clean ROM ULE 3.1 baseband version VRBL15 also have the updated modem running on here. And I'll just do, go through a quick quick run through and then we'll go through the installation. Up here you can see this ROM comes with 15 toggles. Uh, which is awesome. So you're going to be getting the mobile hotspot, which I have tested and tethered on my laptop and pulled down about 17 megs, which is pretty good for a uh, custom ROM and even tethering. Uh, it has a flashlight app right there, airplane mode, restart, shutdown. So all these custom toggles up, up top, which is awesome. That annoying Wi-Fi off notification right there I'm looking forward to get rid of but haven't messed with this ROM enough to find that um, and you can see I'm running Google now uh, this ROM is bare bones it's going to come with the market uh, Google Talk and Google Now and that's it so you have to go in there and either install G apps um, or you can just go into the market and find your own so the transitions with the um, the folders is awesome uh, as you can see this thing flies Go into the widgets, and it has the um, the unlimited scrolling for the widgets and the apps. Uh, not very customizable like a typical AOSP or a um, AOKP ROM. So um, you're getting the full TouchWiz experience. You are getting a couple of the uh, TouchWiz apps, um, like the video player where you could play different videos and have them play live there was one of mine so you can have that play and then you could pop it out and have it up here which is an awesome uh, thing that the uh, S3 kinda started so love that right there then you can exit out right there um, I did install the new uh, Android 4.2 uh, camera with the Photosphere, which is super awesome. Um, a couple people were having issues with ROMs where they weren't able to stick that on the launch screen, but I was able to put the new camera on the launch screen with this ROM so you can swipe and it takes it right to there. Um, I did keep the original camera that came with the ROM. Um, the, the camera and the keyboard, um, I'll have a link down below to where I got that from. I can bring up a new text and then just add words like hey how are you as you can see as I'm texting the word pops up um, I like I like old swipe a little bit better um, I do like this one because it is quick and it's integrated with uh, Android 4.2 which hasn't been uh, ported yet for the Verizon Wireless S3 but those enhancements with the camera and the keyboard are pretty sweet so I do love some of the TouchWiz um, style, like their um, their task, their calendar, the widgets that you can get with um, with the weather, the video player. So I do like a lot of the um, TouchWiz parts to it. So I think this ROM did a great job at putting you know the fun ones or the good ones in. You know, favorite settings, um, dual clock the calendar mini, the calendar month, the calendar task, and it has the, the old school Android calendar, which is pretty sweet, but I do like this one um, as far as the different touch with apps and widgets that you can use. Um, I like keeping mine really basic. As you can see, I'm running two screens. You can add, I believe, you can add up to seven screens. Um, I typically only run two because I don't run a lot of apps on my screens and I usually run a lot of folders so I can keep everything organized. Um, let's go into the wallpapers. 
I love that integration with Facebook so you get their pictures. Mm -hmm. um, now you cannot drop this down like you can a text message, but you can still swipe it away. Um, so we'll go back up here. And the prerequisites for this, uh, for this ROM is you're going to need a custom recovery. You're going to need to go through and wipe your total factory wipe, uh, wipe your cache. Um, and you're also going to need an unlock bootloader. And I think that's pretty much it that comes with this ROM. Like I said, it's really clean, really fast, um, but it does not have a lot of the custom settings that you can do. Now, you can run a different launcher on top of this. Uh, like I said, I do like some of the TouchWiz aspects, um, power saving mode, location services, lock screen. So you can, like I said, alter the lock screen, different lock screen ways of unlocking it. Uh, then you can go in here and do your shortcuts and you can actually just customize this and you can use it for whatever you want. So say we take the Google Now, drag it and delete it. Then you can add any custom app that you want. So say we add Chrome, Chrome will be right there. So close it, lock screen, cut back on, you'll see Chrome's there and you can just swipe Chrome up and it launches Chrome. So I love that option. Um, I do love the, the Jelly Bean lock screen with the Google Now, but this works good. You can just hold down the menu button, Google Now will pop up, and it works really good. As you can see, it's already got some football cards. Um, let's just give it a quick test. How tall is Michael Jordan? So super easy. Um, she didn't respond that time. Let's check. Okay, so you can see it does have the extended audio uh, menu. So I'll go here, pull the media up, and I believe she'll say it this time. How tall is Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bryant is six feet six inches tall. So that's another awesome uh, thing with the media. You go to the menu and adjust different things, which, you know, just changing the ringtone. And I find that really useful. So if I'm watching a video or something, um, I can go in here and hit menu and adjust like the ringtone because if you hit volume up and down while you're watching a video or something, it'll adjust the media volume. So I do love that option of having the menus. And then of course you go down here and have your search results and then you could flick the card away. So Google Now is awesome. Uh, it does have some improvements. Um, I don't know if um, you guys have seen them, but Google updated and you can do open Facebook app. Navigate to work. Navigating. So if you have that in there, you can, um, if you go in maps and save locations as home and work and different things like that, it'll definitely um, navigate you right there. So uh, real quick install. Um, you can get the uh, all the ROM, um, all the downloads. I'll have them down in the description, but we'll just do a quick reboot. Now, if you are not running a custom recovery, you will need to get one. I'm running Twerp right now, but uh, so we'll go to restart, and this one does have an extended power menu so you can reboot right into recovery. So we'll root into recovery. All right, so what you'll do first is you'll go to wipe, effect the reset, swipe to wipe, catch, swipe to wipe, dial it catch, swipe to wipe. Once that's done, you'll go to install. And I gotta remember where I put this one. I think I have another download. Yep, download, clean ROM, ULE 3.1. Click that, it'll install. And then also the um, 5.6 launcher, 5x6 launcher, um, the modem and the RPM, I'll have down below and it's all on the uh, XDA developer site. But uh, those are just some adjustments as you just, you might not be able to tell on my home screen, but I was running this launcher which makes it 5x6 so I'm getting a little bit more real estate for apps and stuff like that so it looks really good. And so you do that, install that, and then once that's installed, reboot, reboot system. As you can see, it's a basic startup uh, launch animation.
I do like the fact that it pulled out the 4G LTE. Um, it is kind of corny, so I'm glad it did pull that out. So right back to the home screen, you still have your custom, I mean your stock um, home screen, live home screen, and then you just swipe away. So that is it. That is the um, the clean ROM. Um, all the description will be down in the bottom for how to install. And uh, thank you guys for checking me out. Look for me on Mr. Eleven Eighty Five on Twitter. Check out my Facebook page. Links will be posted down below. Uh, make sure you go down to the bottom and like and subscribe. And thank you guys for checking it out.